So in the last video, Jake Airlines themselves invited me to clean their $10 million fighter jet thing. However, we did such a good job, they have now hired me to clean their frolic boat. So I'm going to be cleaning the boat, and then I have a feeling they're going to have me clean their house next. So we'll see what happens. Want to keep up with the latest beautiful OB videos? Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. How's it going, everybody? OB here, and welcome back to some more Power War Simulator. We are here to clean this frolic boat, okay? It's small, it's tiny. We're gonna knock this thing out in no time using the Prime Vista Pro. Top of the line quality. No one else can hold this except for me. Hey, it's Harper. What on earth's going on in Muckenham? Literally nothing. It's like the most beautiful, gorgeous day I've ever seen in my life. This looks like the neighborhood from my Sims neighborhood. It's just beautiful. Everything's perfect they have just read a piece in real news now the town with no cats what what do you ma'am i'm here to do a job not talk about cats is there really not a single cat left but i don't know i'm a power washer not a cat expert how am i supposed to know you know what let's just get down and dirty okay let's get to it fellas we're just gonna do a clean strip like this Clean, strip like this all the way back. And that's looking clean already, fellas. Look how beautiful this boat is coming back to life. Okay, you can see the sparkles underneath it all coming together in perfect harmony. Is there any gnomes here, perhaps? They always had a gnome somewhere. Is there a gnome peeking at me from somewhere? All right, I got some homework for y'all, okay? If y'all spot the gnome in this video, let me know where it is because they always hide one gnome somewhere on the level and I can't seem to locate it. Huh. There's definitely a gnome somewhere. I just don't see it. Little bit nervous about that. I like to keep my eyes on my gnomes. I'm just saying, I like to keep full visual ocular pat downs on my gnomes. Oh, by the way, if you guys are still enjoying Power Wars on the channel, make sure to go down below. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe right now to see more videos like this one here. But let's get back to work here. This boat is not going to clean itself. And I really want to know what we're going to be cleaning next. Because the vehicles, I'm not going to lie, they're pretty easy to clean. They don't take that long. I want to get to something massive. So big that my brain just explodes. I want to clean the entire Five Nights of Freddy's Pizzeria after it burns down. You know what this game needs? It needs a workshop with user-created levels so we can actually do that. Can you imagine going to the Five Nights at Freddy's Megaplex Mall from Security Breach and trying to clean that thing top to bottom? Every single room, every single nook, nook and cranny, every single wall and floor. That would be like a month-long video just cleaning the FNAF Megaplex. All right, I'm going to begin working on the other side of the boat now. If I come over here, you can clearly see I have done good work on the bottom part here. I have went ahead and knocked out this entire bottom part here. Now I'm working on the other half of the boat. I'm doing halvesies today, okay? Top to bottom, doing a little backwards, but whatever. Copper. I also read in the daily opinion that the mayor's water pipeline is just the tip of the iceberg. Huh? I don't understand the lore of this game. It's what he's doing with all that water that's the dodgy bit. Well, I mean, I'm using a lot of the water right now. I've been power washing for like the past year on my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm, I'm surely I've used a lot more water than the mayor has. We're going to start working on the keel here. This is the keel part of the boat. See, this is also an educational channel now, by the way. We learned what bits and pieces of boats and airplanes actually are instead of just guessing. I would have called this the flipper flapper, but now I know it's actually called the keel. So I have learned. This is a uh, fan. It's actually called the propeller. See? Already learning, fellas. Already learning here. The propeller looking still dirty. There's some dirt. Oh, okay, that's done. Rudder. Okay, rudder we holy know is clean now. So I think what we got to do next, this is called the gun whale. Huh? We need to get up on this bad boy. We need to start getting to the nitty gritty parts, okay? We need to get up on top of this bump here like this. It's disgusting. I'm going to work on the rim of the boat first. And then I'm going to gently and delicately make my way to the center there. I want to do the outside first and leave the inside for last. That's my plan here. And I think it's going to work out well. Oakley dokelys. 
All right, we got to read this. It says, rumor has it he's funneling water to some billionaire guy running an illicit mining rig. See, we need to read this stuff, guys, so we have to figure out what's going on. If y'all have any idea about the lore, you have to let me know. Can't be true, can it? It isn't related to the missing cats. What are you talking about missing cats? Cats are sneaky. They're like the ninjas of the animal world. They know how to hide. Wait a minute, there's a cat on top of the boat. This is a golden cat right here. Huh? What is going on? Wait, whose house? Is this the mayor? This is the mayor's house. So this is the mayor's boat then. So I'm cleaning his gold. Wait, hold on. What's happening? What is the lore? What is happening? Why can't I get this thing clean? Look where they put the dirt. They put it inside the tippy top of the hat. Like, no wonder I can't get it out. There it goes. Okay. In whose dirty footprints are these? Probably seat tops. Holy moly, fellas. Look at my money right now. $1,300. Let's go to the store real quick here. If I go to equipment and scroll all the way down, I can buy the extra long extension. Okay. This has come at a great time. And the reason it's come at a great time, let me show you, let me show you here. We have to do this part here. Now with, the, now with this extension, I can still get it. But with the extra log extension, yo, we about to up our game big, big, big time. All right, let's put this bad boy on. Let's try this extension out. Hold on. If it does the white, no way. This bad boy can kill dirt from a mile away. You no longer need Lysol wipes. You can just use this power washer. I got the window with it. I think the green one would be the absolute perfect amount of pressure and uh, width ratio here for cleaning from down here. This is nice. I'm not going to lie to you. We have really upped our game just now, fellas. By the way, Dirt Finder, you may find a few people asking questions over the coming days, months, and years. Oh my goodness, if I'm cleaning things a year from now still, I'm gonna be losing my freaking mind, yo. Just tell them that you don't know where I went, only that it went by car. Oh, that's the mayor, Mayor Jeff Jefferson the 8th. Or is that the 13th? That's the 13th. There's a lot of uh, Jeff Jeffersons out there, fellas. There's 13 of them right now. They're running wild. Um, you can see here, I have done pretty fine work here. We are 80% done with the boat here. Trying to get this one done because I really want to see what we're we'll cleaning. What we'll, what words that we're cleaning next. Sometimes Obi don't speak too good, does he? All right, I think I got everything on like the bottom part of the boat. I'm pretty sure I got everything under here in the little deck area here. Even in the back here, I got all of this. I got to do this upper side window here and then just the roof. And then I think we're done here. Yeah, see like this when you're up close and personal with the dirt, you kind of get to know it a little bit. And you kind of get to realize that it's not your enemy. Okay, it's just trying to live its dreams. And that way you get to appreciate it all a little bit more. And then it makes your job a little bit more satisfying, doesn't it? Like, look at this little strip of dirt right here. Look how that just comes on off like that, fellas. So easy. All right, fellas, we are on top, tippy top of the boat. Still haven't managed to find this sneaky peeking gnome anywhere, but I know he's out there. I know he's watching. He's always watching. Okay, just keep your eyes. <gasps> I spotted them. There's two gnomes. Wait, there's one, two, three, four, five. Editor, can I get a zoom in on this gnome echolocation, please? I can't see their facial expressions from here, but you have to let me know if they are like grinning at me like this. Anyways, I'm just going to go back to cleaning the uh, top of the uh, thing here. We're at about a 89% clean rate here. Uh, there's cat paw prints up here. I thought cats didn't exist in this world. Interesting. Oh, oh, I did it. Wait, hold on. Any chance you can clean this town's monster truck? Some prize donuts have poured concrete all over it. Wait, what? Hold on, cleaning a monster truck full of concrete? Yo, I didn't even realize I was this close to finishing this boat. It went from like 90% to 100% like instantly. Look at my little guy, by the way. Look, see how we did that? Not bad. All right, we are currently loaded into the concrete covered monster truck. Holy freaking moly, this thing is looking like a cat again. There's a gnome here. Okay, last video, the gnome was up there peeking. 
Now he's inside. What's going on here, little guy? Eh. Get out of here. Okay, if, <laughs> he's definitely gonna kill me now. He is definitely gonna find out where I'm at and kill me. Okay, um, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and clean a monster truck. We're gonna put on a white nozzle here for the widest coverage here. And look at that. The dirt is literally just melted off. Now you can see I'm not getting this rust off very well here. I'm gonna have to get a little closer, more personal with that. Maybe even use a different color nozzle here for that. But I will go ahead and get the first cake of dirt off of it. That way we can admire and see exactly. Oh wait, this is actually concrete. No, this is like legit concrete. I thought it was just actually like really gooped on dirt. No, they actually put concrete on this. The green is gonna be what we wanna use here. How does the green handle the rust? Perfectly. It handles it so perfectly, fellas. Now, the most important part of a cat to keep clean is perhaps their butt. So we will go ahead and get their butt nice and clean here. That way there's no poopy butts. Some folks think a shady organization is sacrificing a cat to the volcano to prevent an imminent eruption. What year are we in? Nobody sacrifices cats to volcanoes. I don't think that's ever happened. Apparently all fingers are currently pointed at Marvin from the Old Boys Club. That's interesting to me. If you take the first letter from Old Boy and put them together, that stands OB. Utterly ridiculous. It's gaining traction in rural communities. No, man, you're, you're crazy. Sarah, you're crazy. Sarah Sawatis, get out of here. This is a shame, you know, you, you you get paid to do a hard day's work. You know, you come here and you try to clean a monster truck and these people are just throwing conspiracy cat theories at you the entire time. Like, how am I supposed to get any work done? How am I supposed to get my job done if you're just yelling at me about cats and volcanoes all day? You know what I'm saying? All oh, right, I'm just about finishing up here with the right side of the cat. I still got to get into the grooves of the tires at the tippy top here like this here, but it's a little bit tedious here. And I have to do the other side of the inner tire as well. But from this point of view, it's not looking too bad. Let's go ahead and clean up this window here. Oh, Mr. Cat's uh, whiskers here. Okay, so the yellow nozzle from this bar will cleanly take off the concrete. Look at this. Let's, let's get the eyes here. Ooh, very pretty eyes here. Bright green. I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and do the face. The vegan community suspects that there are the secret ingredients. Okay, I'm cleaning. I'm not even looking. I'm cleaning. Ingredient of the mucking hamburger. Wait, what? But there's a statement from Ella herself denying and telling them to stick to their celery where the sun don't shine. Ella claims that a burger's unique flavor is due to the extraordinary high salt content. Wait. Are the hamburgers made out of cats? This is getting weird. Okay, these people want me to uh, clean a Ferris wheel next. Bree Strobe asked me to clean her sticky Ferris wheel. Okay, uh, everybody at Biker's Shack thinks all cats are aliens. Okay, uh, I'm ignoring these people. They are out of their mind. I just want to do a good hard day's job, get paid, so I can afford new clothes. Apparently, we should expect an invasion of extraterrestrial super cats in a couple of months. These people have lost their freaking mind. Everyone has lost their mind. Everyone's stupid. I've been stuck on these tires. I've been, I've, I've just trying to clean the tires. I'm getting cranky. I'm getting frustrated because I'm so, look, I mean, look at all the stuff, the dirt everywhere. How did it get here? I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what I'm cleaning anymore. I'm just spraying water all over anything that looks yellow and orange to me. I'm just going for it. All right, fellas. I think I'm finding my groove now. It's all about patience, not freaking out, and just handling one task at a time. And things are slowly starting to come together now. I'm going to hit the back of the sign here. That got that. Not bad, right? I still got some cracks and nooks and crannies to get into, but this is coming together now, okay? I did a lot of the bottom half. I got all the tires all cleaned up. Now I'm going to start on the upper body of the vehicle here. And then, you know, when I, when I run out of things to clean up here, then I'll go back and nitpick the very bottom part. But it's getting very tedious down there. And I'm starting to lose my patience a little bit. And I just want to see some dirt coming off of a cat, man. I just want to see a clean cat. There we go. This is looking like a clean cat. Okay, this is looking much better. We'll get this concrete off the poor kitty cat. And things will be looking up. I mean, they got a lot of cat curves up here. You got to get into the cat curves here. This is the cat arm here. I feel like it should go ding any moment now, but it's not going ding. The cat, there it goes. Okay, let's go ahead and get the cat head here. Got to get the concrete off the cat head. 
Oh yeah, the dirt is really just coming off up here, guys. This is a satisfying spot to clean. Down below, not satisfying. Up here though, ooh, that dirt is just vaporizing into the stratosphere right now, fellas. Look at this, huh? Look at these clean strokes I'm showing right here. This is what it's all about. Oh yeah. What I wanna do, give me a wall like this, but take out the pillows here, just make a flat wall covered in dirt and let me just go like that. Up and down, that would be a good. That would be good for like meditation and stuff. Holy moly, we were 99% done. We were 99% done with cleaning this entire thing. It just sneaks up on you guys. So I gotta do the cat body. Oh, uh, okay, let's maybe get the back leg as well. I gotta get the back leg of a cat here. This is the cat's butt exhaust. It's actually called the flame exhaust. Uh, that has to get cleaned as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and knock that out there. Is there one of them? There's that thingy. And then we're gonna get this one here as well here. Should be going ding, ding any moment here, fellas. There it goes. Okay. Apparently there's some dirt left in his cat's back leg. Oh, I see it. And there's some dirt left in his cat's body. I think it's underneath. Yep. There it is. Gotta say, looking pretty good so far, champs. Everything looks like it's coming together now. There we go. Holy moly. I'm pressing the dirt button. I'm pressing the button. Keep your eyes peeled. Not seeing anything pop up. Okay, down here. Yes, absolutely. Get this. Okay, get the pipes. Okay. Door handle. Probably this one. Yeah. That's good. T uh, side hatch handle. That's this. That's good. Top hatch. Top hatch should be on the tippy top. What's this? What's dirty about this? I don't see no dirt. I'm pressing the dirt button. Do I need to pop it up? Hello, dirt? <gasps> I did it! I freaking did it! Okay, check this out. You're not even gonna see me half this video. I'm underneath the car. I'm underneath the monster truck. Watch. Okay. Now, here it goes. Now I'm underneath. Oh, wait. Okay, okay I'm popping out, I guess. This is where I wrote help on the side of the car for... Okay. I just have to know. What is next? The Ferris wheel. Oh, boy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop it a like. Go down below. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.